Hi, I'm Chase thompson Ball with SimplyMac.com. We're a Utah-based company with eight stores in Utah, Idaho, and Wyoming. Today I'm going to show you some quick tips about using the iPad, and I know you're going to love them. So now I'm going to show you how you can connect your Mac to your iPad using AirPlay. So when we're AirPlaying from our Mac to our iPad, we're going to go ahead and we're going to use the Videos app. So I'm just going to tap on that. For this to be able to work, we do need to make sure that our iPad is on the same wireless network as our computer, but most people already have that when you walk into your home. When you are on the same wireless network, you'll notice a shared area here. If you don't see shared, then you may need to open up iTunes on your computer, because it does have to be open for this to work. So I'm going to tap on shared. There's my computer, my library. I'm going to tap on it. And you'll see up here at the top, I have a lot of choices. I have movies, TV shows, podcasts, and music videos. These are the different things I can airplay directly from my computer to my iPad. So I'm going to tap on movies, and these are sample movies. I'm just going to tap on Tangled here, and hit play. This is not something that is stored on my iPad, so depending on your home's internet speed or your home's network speed, it may take a little bit longer to load. But that's how you do it. My name is Chase Thompson-Baugh with SimplyMac.com and I've just showed you how you can connect your Mac to your iPad using AirPlay.